Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And last night was the kickoff to football season. And of course, this means the start of tailgating season. And here to help us get through football season without packing on any additional pounds, please welcome nutritionist and author Felicia Stoller. How are you, dear? I'm great, thank, thank you for having me. This is so exciting. Uh, let me tell you, I'm so happy that you're here because I love food and I love tailgating. So those are two things that I quite fancy and uh, I just indulge. Well, I do. you know, and let's face it, we all socialize around food, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are some of the things that we can do where we're still hanging out, having a good time, getting the flavors that we want, but without picking up the pounds? Well, so well, part of that is pushing away from the table, right? You know, uh, doing well, a little I, like what? Well, that's how we do. I got to I know. You're so you're push to do push ups, <laughs> but uh, I have to do pushbacks. OK. All right. You know, or as I like to say, I will work out for food, right? So I will, you know, if I know that it's going to be a weekend where I'm going to be eating a little bit more, I mm -hmm. might sort of ramp up my exercise exercise mm -hmm. a little bit more so you know you could be sitting or actually standing helps you for bur with burning calories so okay. you know we people always laugh about like standing around the kitchen table right, and right, eating right. but you know there is something to be said for standing mm. so um, there's a little bit of that going on but you know I brought a whole sample of yes, things that did. people like to bring and eat and I love pizza at tailgating yep, yep. Um, but I noticed that you pretty much have uh, cheese I have and cheese and, and meats yeah so here's here's why I brought it well first of all you know these are decent foods but for some people People, they cause problems so there are people that are lactose mm. intolerant yes so yes. you know if you're one of those folks you know what that's like mm -hmm. you're gonna end up in the bathroom pretty quickly yes. if you're eating dairy the good news is is that there's enzymes that you can take called lactase enzymes which help you so that you can you know have your cheese and eat it too without oh, having wow. any kind of problem and you take that prior prior to okay. so that just means you have an enzyme deficiency you don't create enough of an enzyme to help you break down the food and here's another one that a lot of people don't know about histamine intolerance yes. Yes. So histamine is and found wine. Oh my God! And craft beers. Everybody's into these craft beers, and they're wonderful, right? And the meats that are here, and the cheese. My beloved cheese also high in histamine. Yes. So what happens is, if you have a histamine intolerance, you either don't produce enough of, or you have a problem with an enzyme called diamine oxidase. Mm. Good news is, for folks that have that, you can take Umbrellux DAO, which is basically the diamine oxidase supplement, which helps you to break down the histamine in foods, which is wonderful. I mean, your other choice is to drink black tea 20 minutes before, and let's face it, like, who's gonna do that? Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, because <laughs> I just would go right for the wine bottle. But this has happened to me sometimes. Too. Now, some wines, I don't, you know, become congested or, stu or you know, stuffy or anything, right, right. but sometimes on other wines, I do. Red, and, and it, yes, red and wines. It led me yes. to read about it, and mm -hmm. I was like, they have the, um, the histamine. Thing. Yeah, That's I why. know. You know, and look, I've been a dietitian for almost 20 years. We didn't learn about this, um, you know, 20 years ago when I first got into the field. So it's, you know, it's emerging science, and I think it's great and exciting. And, you know, I think it's wonderful that there are enzymes that you can take to help you so you can enjoy all kinds of foods. Yes. Right. What about people who are food intolerant? Yeah, so things like lactose intolerance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have lactose intolerance. So intolerant basically means that you have, uh, the issue is not one of an allergy, but it's one of digestion mm. and absorption in the GI tract. So gluten intolerant is a big one. So yes. I have here fried chicken. You might be wondering why I brought the fried chicken. Can we do gluten-free <laughs> fried chicken? You can do gluten-free yes. fried chicken if you want to make it yourself. You know, if you're going to do like grab and go, which a lot of people do, then I say don't go for the store brand because, you know, it's got probably flour, flour wheat on mm -hmm. it. Go for rotisserie chicken mm. instead. You know, look, all foods can fit in moderation. Don't get me wrong, I like fried chicken every okay. once in a while okay. too. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had but to cut that no, out. No, no, no. But you know, and like something simple, like sometimes places make french fries with like a crispy coating yes. on it. You gotta be careful with that if you have gluten intolerance. And I just brought regular potato chips here. Um, as one of my friends said, what do you, what do you mean you brought potato chips? Right. And I said, it's three ingredients, potatoes, oil, salt. But Easy. what do we do about the sodium though? Because that's another problem. Well, drink lots of water and then watch your sodium intake. They actually do make low sodium potato chips. So, you know, there's always that the option. Ones. Well, not just baked, there's just low sodium hmm. potato chips. And the ones that are loaded up with flavors have, you know, are the ones that we have to be concerned about too. Now, hot dogs are a big hit for tailgating. Yes, and they I are. And I love a good grilled hot dog. 
Yes. What you, do we have here? So what I have here is, uh, you know, if you're gluten intolerant, again, mm -hmm. you don't want to have a regular bun. You want to get a gluten-free bun. That's really mm -hmm. what I wanted to show you here. Um, the it's other all thing about too, the buns. It's all about the buns, mm -hmm. right? And the other thing, too, is just be careful about the nitrates in there. You know, they do cause cancer. I, I brought some mm -hmm. sauerkraut over there, too. That's yeah. high in histamines. But, you know, again, like, I love sauerkraut. It's so good for you. I think it balances out the negative mm -hmm. of the hot dogs. And the other thing you could do is make a little fish taco for yourself instead. Ah. And you know what? I actually made this with tortillas, some shredded lettuce, and they have these tuna packets that have the tuna, the rice, the beans, and the corn all there. And that's really quick. Like it took me two minutes to assemble that. So if, <laughs> Not we, even. if, if we were to do all of what you're doing, yeah. what you're saying mm -hmm. to do, we won't gain any pounds this tailgate. Season. I didn't say that. If you ate this whole table at once, that would be a problem. But I'm just saying that, you know, if you watch your portion sizes mm -hmm. and, you know, eat foods that you love, yeah. right? E e have that taste because when you remove the foods that you, like, really love, then yeah, you crave it and then you, you binge it. Then on you it. Binge on it. Then, then you binge on it. Then you binge. No binging. You gain 10 pounds. Except maybe you know, on, the on the wine. <laughs> but I do want to talk to, you, talk to you a little bit about your book, uh, Living, in, in skinny, Living Skinny and Fat Jeans. Living Skinny and Fat Jeans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me about that. So it's basically uh, about, um, you know, don't blame your genes for why you're fat. As a matter of fact, I just did my own 23andMe. <laughs> And I got my results back, and it said that I have I have the genetic profile to have be of average weight. So I was glad to know that I don't really have any fat genes in my family, even though I got a lot of heavy people in my family. I think it's lifestyle, but it's about eating you know uh, eating foods in moderation, physical activity, mm -hmm. doing physical activity, um, and you know just being more making better food choices. You know we don't in, we don't inherently know to eat intuitively like what's healthy for our bodies. That's true. And then a lot of us didn't grow up that way. It was kind of right. like whatever we want. Mom just gave it to us. But That's right. Anyway, Felicia, thank you so much for joining us here at Sister Circle. And for more on Felicia's amazing book and health tips, you can go to FeliciaStollers.com.